Those combines are rolling about two weeks early across Oklahoma, and, and Chad, is, is this a good time for, uh, for wheat producers to start thinking about what to do after harvest? It, it really is, and really with uh, thinking about, you know, potential double crop scenarios in, in parts of the state where we have enough soil moisture, really, you know, getting wheat and canola out of the, out of the field two, three weeks early is, is ideal for double crops. That way we can plant them earlier and, and really increase our yield potential. Whereas normally, you know, when we're planting middle to late June, we, we naturally see a decrease in yield potential for those double crops just because planting them later and shortening that, that growing season. But if we're able to get those planted in early June, that, you know, that's perfect, perfect world. Uh, so, so what you're saying is take advantage of the, the early harvest. Don't don't plant by the calendar, plant by by the crop. Definitely, definitely, uh, yeah. The earlier, typically with our double crops, whether it's grain sorghum or soybeans or, or even sesame, you know, the, the earlier we can plant those uh, in June, typically the better. Okay, and, and it's, it's a prime opportunity to take, take advantage of some of that uh, soil moisture from no-till. It, it is, and, and you know, we're starting to see uh, no-till fields where they've been in, in five, six, seven years, really build that, that soil structure get that water deep infiltration. You know, we really, in most areas of the state, uh, we have, you know, pretty much full soil moisture profiles. Uh, so that's that's a lot of inches of water stored that we need to take advantage of. What are gonna be some of the good double crops uh, for the 2012 season? Um, you know, really, you know, basing on markets, I mean, both grain sorghum and soybeans look good. Sesame is, is also a good one for, for a little drier areas further west maybe. Uh, but really the way the markets are, and if you look at the break-evens on a lot of those, it, they're fairly low in, you know, nine out of ten years, it, it, unless we have a disaster like last year, we can, we can produce those, at least those yields to get that break-even uh, and have potential to do a lot more, especially with that earlier planting date. Okay, so earlier planting date could mean better crops this year. Exactly. Okay, Chad Gotze, thank you so much for your time. For more information on those, go to our website, sunup at okstate.edu.